Hey everyone, Coach Jared here with your FITSA, or FIT Service Announcement. And today we're talking about the butt. Gotta get your butt strong. Everybody needs it. If you want to have great athletic performance, if you want to have a healthy, strong low back and hips, heck, even you want good quality, healthy shoulders, the butt matters, okay? There's a couple things you need to understand about the butt. Number one, it is the strongest, most uh, explosive complex of muscles in the body. So we not only have to work it hard from an intensity standpoint, moving lots of weight, we also need to work it in high volumes and in various ranges of motion and planes of motion to get all those little extra muscles that help the big glute max work and do the job it's supposed to do. Number two, Feet matter. So if you're going to do this, I highly suggest you take your shoes off and you get your foot involved with the ground. When you do short foot, which is where you bring your big toe and your heel closer together and you create an arch, your glutes instantly turn on. In fact, you can try this while we're doing this. Stand up, put your stocking feet or bare feet in the ground, and then pull your toe, big toe, towards your heel, creating a bigger arch. You're going to feel muscles in your glutes fire on instantly. We want you to be able to access those and use those. So take advantage of the four you're on, take your shoes off, get in the stocking feet, get bare feet, and do these with feet like such. Okay, so first one, glute bridge. One of the more intense ones because you can load this one with the barbell up way heavier than something you can deadlift, okay? Put a pad on your waist, bring the bar towards you, get it up nice and tight, get yourself laid back, locking in, Brace your core, push against the bar, bridge up. Dig the feet into the floor and activate and drive the bar to the ceiling. Okay? Just for the sake of ease, everything here 10 reps or 10 per side. Okay? Next one, also bilateral with a band this time, band hip thrusters. So the band is going to go around the feet. Take a heavy band, don't be afraid to go heavy with this because the worst thing that happens is you don't extend all the way and you gotta work a little harder for that or you just realize you're tired enough you need to stop, rest, recover, and then repeat. Step it out, get your shoulders on the bench. Again, lock your core in down low, dig the feet into the floor, short foot, and bridge up aggressively into that band. When you finish your set, come down, take the band off, and voila, again, 10 reps. Now we're gonna get into some isolated unilateral things. So first thing is single leg glute bridge. Your other hip, we're gonna actually activate in flexion. We're gonna take the ball, stick it in the hip socket, dig this foot in, again, short foot, bridge by pushing into the ground and driving through this hip. Gonna squeeze the ball here, make sure it doesn't come out as we activate here. Start to feel some of those lateral and medial muscles of the glutes and accessory muscles helping out to do this correctly. 10 per side, and then finish with a single leg RDL. Single leg RDL, you definitely want your foot involved and engaged with the floor. So you set that up, get like so, find your balance. On one leg, get to sit right in the middle of that foot, go down, control the motion, then drive to the hip to come back up. Wobbling, wiggling, feeling your foot going like this on the floor, all good things. Muscles learning how to activate and engage and get that butt and the complex around it strong so your booty is rocking everywhere.